All right, guys, today finally it's time to install the pump, install the hydraulics, and uh, bleed the system on this video. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do that. All right, so this is the hydraulics coming into my helm. And this right here is my hose that goes to the existing pump. I'll be using the same hoses for this other pump plus some more new hoses. But the first thing I want to do is take out that pump and drain this hydraulic fluid so I can work with a new pump. All right, there it is. All right, first, so I want to make a big mess with hydraulic fluid. I'm going to put this tray here and start unbolting these uh, hydraulic lines. So the fluid is coming out. It's okay, I'm gonna change it anyway. I'm gonna get new fluid in there. I can roll the old pump. Now the next step is very important to get it done now. Is the shadow drive connecting those two hoses. It's better to connect it now here, then connect it later down there. Then later it's easier to do some connections down there. Okay, so this is a shot drive, and this is a thread ceiling I'll be using. And this is the hydraulic pipe fitted connections. See, pipe fitted is kind of narrow at the front, and at the bottom it's a little thicker. That's why they're called pipe fitted. All right, remove the cap. All right, very important not to get thread ceiling on the edge here. It's going to put a little bit in the middle, not too close to the edge. And if we get it close to the edge, just clean it up. Rub it with your finger around. Now let's clean the edge so no threat ceiling will go inside the system. See the edge is clean, very important. Start screwing it in the shutter drive. And once you go completely, like you can't move it no more, I'm gonna use this other wrench here, hold it in place. I'm gonna go two full turns. Right, in this case, I was able to do one and a half turn only, but that is perfect. One and a half is really tight in there. All right, do the other side. Same way I did the other one. Just attach it just like the other one. Once it's fully connected, you don't feel no more. For me, I was able to do one and a half. I didn't want to do overdo it. So one and a half was just perfect. Tight enough. Perfect. Now the next step is connecting these hoses to the shadow drive, one inch in, and these connections, no uh, thread sealing is needed because it has a bushing inside, so no thread sealing on these connections. Okay, same thing with the other side. Alright, so now the shadow drive is already connected. See, it's easier to do this connection out here than down there, so that way you connect it properly. All right, let's go down there now. I'm gonna connect the shadow drive right here, and I'm gonna be using this elbow right here, provided with the uh, hydraulic kit. I'm gonna put this elbow in here like this. So my hydraulic line for the uh, shadow drive will go like this, not higher than the pump. it will be going like this. So I'm going to disattach this T right now so I can put this elbow. I'm gonna remove this hose here. Make it a little bit easier since I have to take it out anyway. I'm gonna take this other hose here too. Now I can safely take this out. This is the same connection. This is AT and this is just an elbow. And remember, no thread sealing on this because it has a rubber already on it and this side you don't have to use the thread sealing either now that i have it the level that i want it dripping down a little bit i'm going to close this right here now the shadow drive you can connect it any direction it doesn't have a direction where to flow so it doesn't matter which end you put in first 
Okay, so we're gonna connect this side here first. Again, no thread sealing on these fittings. All right, that's very tight fitted there. Now that the elbow and the shutter drive is connected, I need to connect this other side here with this, with the T. I got this T at Amazon and I only needed one, but three came in the package. Now we're gonna connect the zip tie right here just to hold the T connection from the shutter drive temporarily. And this one, I'm gonna connect the T right here. No thread cylinder required right here either. All right, so the shadow drive is installed already. And if you see, I leveled the hose so that way the hydraulic fluid flows down. And this hose here is kind of discolorated from the fluid. And since I got a new hose, why not? Let's install the new hose. Got some little hydraulic fluid. And look how pretty the new one looks. And keep in mind, this one is a clear hose. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of pressure than this one's take. This one takes a lot of pressure. This one takes very little pressure. This is just a return line. So now since that yellow hose has been four years old, having a new one, so now I'll be able to see my fluid a lot better because as time goes, the uh, hydraulic will stain up the uh, clear hose. All right, so now moving down to the uh, hydraulic pump. This connector's here. They need to be removed because we're gonna connect the hoses from the top, not from the bottom here. And this is the plugs we're gonna use to plug this ones down here. Make sure the O-ring is positioned right. No thread seedling required here either. Okay, let's plug. And this is what shuts off the valves. If you close them, it stops the flow of hydraulic for this line, this one or this one. And if you unscrew it 100%, you're gonna get 100% flow of the hydraulic. Now this is the connectors that Garmin provided. Make sure nothing falls in here. And remember when you see a gasket like this, no thread sealing is required. Perfect. All right, so the pump is gonna be sitting here. And for now, I have these pieces of foam and I'm gonna place them here. So it helps me support the pump for now. It's gonna be sitting right here. But before I get the pump 100% installed, I wanna make sure the hoses reach, just in case if I need to shift the pump a little bit. Now it's time to connect the starboard line here. For now, I'm just gonna use the zip tie right here to secure it temporarily so I can uh, see where my fittings are gonna land. All right, so this is my starboard line right here. This one's gonna go connect it right here. See if I'm gonna be able to mount it right at that position. And this is my return line. It looks messy now, it's a lot of hydraulic lines, but later I'm gonna position all of them. The important part is that the hoses, they do reach the pump or exactly where I want the pump at. I wanna make sure everything fits perfect. I gotta make a mount so this pump is flush right here on top of the uh, deck of the boat. I'm gonna mark with a pencil where the pump is positioned at. this corner right here and also bevel the edges and it fits perfect look at that awesome so all I got to do now is secure the pump then later come here and secure the uh, platform it's better to install the pump outside and then bring it in and then later uh, secure this to the hull of the boat 
and also from the back here. This little bracket here, it's gonna fall in place right here. Perfect. So later, all we gotta do is screw it from the inside of this panel and screw it right in here. Perfect. Now I'm gonna get attached to the base. All right, I'm gonna position where the screws are gonna go. I right, got the hardware here, got the inserts we made on the last video, put it right there, and the washer that I cut to fit. Since this screws that came for the mount, they're not the uh, right size for this board, um, I'm just gonna cut them. All right, so I covered the pump already with a napkin and a plastic bag, so no particles will go in there. Now I'm gonna secure the pump from up here and also from the back here. But here, I need to pre-drill and put some marine adhesive before I bolt it down. All right, very important now to inclinate the drill because we don't wanna hit the hole. The hole is inclinated, so we gotta keep the bolt inclinated. All right, so now we're gonna put some marine adhesive right there where it's gonna go. I'm going to see the pump right on top. I have one long screw through here holding this play back here. This is really not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay put. So now I'm going to complete the installation of the steering hoses. All right, we're going to connect the starboard first. The farthest one. Now we're going to connect the return line. Now we're going to connect the poor side. All right, everything is connected. I just need to position these hoses the right way so they don't bounce around, which is not going to be that hard to do. All the hoses are secure, so when it pounds the waves, it's not going to vibrate too much. And the shadow drive is just as much as horizontal that I can give it, because I do not want these hoses to go over the helm, so they can perform better. So this is as horizontal as possible that I was able to get it done. All right, the hydraulic portion is done, so now I'm going to start adding some hydraulic fluid. Okay, this is the uh, port. To start putting the fluid in. Now we're going to connect this hose. Now, very important, tilt it upside down here. Let gravity do its thing. Now, to get the oil flowing quicker, we're going to poke a hose right here and you can see the hydraulic oil Look at that is coming right up see the oil is a lot cleaner the other one had a yellowish color to it now all these lines are going to get hydraulic because 
Remember, I elevated the bottle and it's going to fill up all this system here. That's why all these hoses are going down like this and also like this. So that way the gravity is pushing all that hydraulic fluid down. And later on, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up these reservoirs right here, these valves, and um, drain some of the old hydraulic fluid. And once this line stops pouring in, I mean almost all the air is out, and I'm going to move the steering wheel left to right. And you see all the bubbles coming up and down? Look at that. You can feel the air. Listen to that. I did this last time on the last autopilot and it was so easy that there was no air in the system at all. See the bubbles coming up? Now there's less bubbles coming up. As you can see, very little bubbles. Now on the C star cylinder, I'm gonna open up the valve so I can get some of the old fluid out and keep pumping new fluid. I'm going to repeat the process with two more bottles to get that old hydraulic fluid out of the system. All right, so the hydraulic system is completely purged of the old hydraulic fluid and there's no bubbles in the system completely, so it's ready to go. I will disattach this and that's it. The autopilot is installed. Look at the beautiful, nice, clear color of the hydraulic. That's what I wanted to see. Get all that old hydraulic and get a new one so the system will run a lot better. All right, so the autopilot and hydraulics, everything's installed already ready to go now on the next video i will be installing all these wires all these electronics so that will be the last step of the autopilot and then later to try it on the water i hope you found this video helpful and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up thank you for